Trump has a history of unsuccessfully suing people for saying not nice things about him, including an architecture critic who mocked a proposed Trump skyscraper and an author who wrote a biography of him. My God, dude, get over it. People write mean things about public figures. I didn't sue the WikiFeet commenter who only gave my feet three and a half stars because he needs to see more pics. But fine, if it'll help my rating, here you go. Trump doesn't care if he loses these lawsuits because the goal isn't to win. It's to scare media companies out of saying anything that could provoke even a frivolous lawsuit, which can still be costly to fight. This is called chilling free speech. Not to be confused with my 1994 political hip hop album, Chillin' Free Speech. I won the Never Do This Again category at the Source Awards. Trump's media threats, his alleged remarks that journalists should be executed, and his full, yet somehow still drooping chub for conspiracy theories are more typical of autocrats than U.S. presidents. But Trump has bullied the media so effectively that he's inspired oppressive governments in other countries to use accusations of fake news to persecute journalists. The last remaining journalist at Fox News confronted Trump about his authoritarian fan club. Leaders in authoritarian countries like Russia, China, Venezuela, now repress the media using your words. Uh, I can't talk for other people. I can only talk for me. The idea that you call us the enemy of the people. I'm not calling you that. I, I'm talking I'm about not we're all together. You don't understand it. It's like that old saying, parents and Chris Wallace just don't understand. The scariest part about Trump's war on the press is that he's winning. No one's been able to stop his attacks, so we just go about our lives while they run constantly in the background like white noise, which of course is Trump's preferred color of noise. And Trump's war on the press doesn't stop with the White House. Customs and border protection officials have harassed reporters about their Trump coverage, accused them of being fake news, and even withheld a journalist's passport until he agreed to say he writes propaganda. I mean, to be fair, he does work for Highlights Propaganda for Children. When Trump undermines the free press, he's not just attacking journalists' right to do their jobs, he's attacking your right to know what's going on in the world. We need to resist the complacency that normalizes Trump's media bashing and stand up for the people who bring us the news so we can look forward to the day they bring us news worth celebrating. If you like this video, hit subscribe and let me know in the comments below. And if you didn't like this video, I'm sure you've already left a comment. Thank you so much.